is up there? Frank. We have names? Oh. <laughs> Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back, and if you happen to be new here, hi! My name is Chachi, and today I am watching episode 3 of Has Been Hotel. So in that last episode, we met Fox and the V's, and they were fabulous. Um, still no match for Alistair, but they still wanted to infiltrate the hotel to gather information on Alistair and Charlie and whatever deal they made. So they used Sir Pinches that didn't work out. So now Sir Pinches is, I think, the first official member of the hotel, like the first patron. Oh, I guess second, right, in a way. And that's also a problem because now, because of his arrival, Angel's a little, I guess, jealous. He feels left out, ignored. So this is an opportunity possibly for the Vs to infiltrate and get information using Angel. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but we'll see. It's kind of headed in that direction. And then regarding the actual angels, the angels, they um they weren't in last episode, so I expected them to make an appearance here because of course the uh, the extermination has been moved up to six months. But I think I'm thinking sooner than that. Now that an angel has been murdered, that definitely raises the stakes. So we'll see if we get any developments on that mystery because I don't think it was a demon that killed an angel. I think an angel killed an angel. That's my guess right now. We'll see if I'm right. Now, before I begin, a reminder that if you want the full reactions to these episodes, you'll get that over on my Patreon. And now let's get started. Thank you all so much for being here. And this is my reaction to episode three of Has Been Hotel. Oh, the kitty. <laughs> Happy first week. Oh. So, excited that is staying at the hotel. so he is the first official patron. Well, second after Angel, right? Enjoy your Carmine purchase. As in Carmilla Carmine, you are buying hearts from an overlord? Uh, of course. Carmilla Carmine? Are we going to meet her? That stops right now. Hey, oh, Vaggie's having none of this. I cannot build weapons in this hotel. No one is trying to kill you. People are being nice because they want you to feel I don't well know about Angel, though. He might. I need to get rid of these things. No! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Do you want to stay here and redeem yourself? Yes. Then, no more eggs. No! Oh, oh he's... He's crying. Can't keep you anymore. There's little minions. No, don't resist. Oh. Oh, they don't care. <laughs> They're like, all right, see ya. Pentius's eggs are all over the place, and I need you to get rid of them. Oh, well, in that case, I'd be delighted. Eating a raw deer. Mainly. That's a lot less hot. Does he know that word? I can take care of that on my outing today. It's been brought to our attention that there may be a little... Distrust. We think that this group could really benefit from... Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Figured. I think you do the one that they fall back. Classic. All right, so we are starting with trust fall. Oh. Each of you are going to share something vulnerable. Hello, drill sergeants. Who wants to go first? Oh, oh, me, 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 me. Oh, she's going to be that student, huh? I love you guys. Really love you. I think the catcher. Oh. That felt. She was the only one, though. No one else did it! Don't oh. want to live without my minions. Oh, the drama. Somebody catch me. <laughs> Damn it. That's great. Oh. Wow, you are slimy. I caught him. <laughs> Nobody catch me. Sometimes I kill mother bugs in front of their children as a warning to others. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Yay, pain! <laughs> I don't blame them for not catching her. Silence if you value your shell. Zestial. Zestial. Oh, they're scared of him. Coming from someone as ancient as you, I take that as quite the compliment. But this guy is a big deal. Everyone is scared and taking photos of this guy. Unless it's just both of them together. Now, I have a very important task for you. Stay here and guard the front until I return. Oh, they're working for Alistor now. <laughs> oh, there's someone left. What's the thing? Frank is up there. Frank. We have names? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. 
What is this? Where are we? Souls at They're risk all overlords. The extermination schedule. We need to discuss what can be done to minimize the impact to our interest. What, they're trying to help? Enchanted as always, Carmilla. Carmilla Carmine. So we did meet her. As I was saying, we need to discuss. Yes. Oh, God. That's going to be trouble. Object of discussion. <gasps> <gasps> Saying your head. Did she do it? Did they do it to the V's? I have come up with a full assault plan. Oh. Sipping his tea? If it be true thee and thy colleagues desire to war with such meager proof, thou art far more foolish. Ah! Uh -huh. They purge all of hell for daring and uprising. Oh, okay, that's interesting. It was planned. I get Maybe. It. So grandpa is too to fight, so I guess there's no point, right? Girl, this whatever he's gonna kill you. You better show some respect. Oh, 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 queen. No one speaks to Zestral that way. Put her in her place. Protect your man. The backbone of the V's. Oh. Oh, damn. <laughs> Fine. Alistair. Frank travels back to the nursing home. She didn't say she cut it off, right? I, I, I misheard. I didn't hear it. I think she said she found the head, not cut it off. That's interesting. You, That's interesting. Adventure. I have a job for you. Oh, yes, boss. Is he gonna spy? Ah, uh, is it a spy? Hmm. So they're useful, the eggs, huh? What the actual? <laughs> I knew it in the bedroom. I'm ready to punish some bad boys. Oh. <laughs> yeah, never mind. I, I'm out. <laughs> but that was too much for. <laughs> She is scary. Need to teach them the way I was taught. This is how you learn to dress people? What? Throwing them into the fire? Buckle up, buttercups, because today you boys become men. Oh. Oh, okay, this explains the Oh no! <laughs> she's look, she's she's throwing them in. You and your daughters are gonna make this hotel work. Hey, fight alongside each other. That's a great way to build trust, huh? I took charge today and it all went sideways. I'm supposed to make your dreams a reality. I'm Aww. supposed to protect you. I'm supposed to never fail you. I blame you That's not up to you, Vaggy. You're not. You're not. If I can't help you, what's the point of me? Oh, that's too much pressure on her shoulders. Sorry, I'd, I'd like to be alone for a minute. If I can't help you, what's the point of me? Oh, come on. You're her bestie. Made it. Oh. <laughs> hey. Let's go home, guys. They did make it together. It was by thy hand, was it not? Let's not talk about it. Mom, maybe he should know. They did it. They did it. Not the V's. But when that feeling attacked, I had to act. She did. Safe. Keep them safe. She was protecting her people. She's protecting her girls. Does she have a thing for Charlie? Like a thing thing? Uh, is it more than friendship or just a bestie thing that she's talking about? That seemed like a, she's in love with her. They'll so take the, the fall, I guess. They'll make the mistakes to protect the people that they love. It's great. What did you hear? The old guy well, was all, you're not yourself. You're <laughs> the one that killed the angel and she was all, uh, whatever it takes. <laughs> that was great. It's exactly what happened. Interesting. Let's keep this between us. <laughs> you got it, boss. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm sorry I got so crazy today. I'm sorry. I put pressure on you. We work as a team. 
Is there something here? Look what your exercise did for them. <laughs> oh, it it worked! Look at this. Alistair. Failed to get rid of the eggs, I see. Yes, well, the little monsters proved to be rather useful. They're now his minions. After today, I guess I can trust you with them. But seriously, no more weapons. That's huge, Maggie. Oh. <laughs> Do they prefer Alistair, though? Now go clean my quarters. This they might. <laughs> Things will move faster than you think. Ah, how was your day with Alistair? Are they gonna tell him? Awesome, boss. I went to this meeting, and there was a knife lady. Oh, no. And the knife lady killed an angel. And I, I knew it. was not supposed to talk about it. Oh, I'm so sure. Is he listening? Now is time. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Idiots. You heard none of it. Doesn't matter. He's an idiot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so I was wrong. <laughs> it was not a, an angel who killed an angel. It was a demon who killed the angel, and it turns out it was this hell overlord, Carmilla Carmine, who I believe is like a weapons dealer of some sort. So that's probably how she was able to kill the angel, I imagine. And it also appears that she did it to protect herself and her family. And then she's also probably feeling guilty because she knows the consequences in that because of this, heaven is pissed off. They are now expediting the cleanse, the extermination. And she threw that meeting with the overlords because she was trying to help in that cause and, and trying to prevent the extermination. And, you know, the numbers are rising as far as how many of them are being cleansed. And she's trying to help with that. So there's probably guilt weighing on her given, you know, what... This is going to mean for everyone in hell. And now Alistair knows. So I'm curious what Alistair is going to do with this information now that he has it. It's very valuable information. And there's also this other scary Jack Skeleton looking guy. <laughs> he just has that 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 same like stature. You know, he's very tall and um, scary. Everyone in hell is just terrified of him. They were taking photos. He's a big deal. He seems to be the most powerful of the bunch, so he knows too. I don't know what this all means, what Alice's plan is, but it's interesting. So keep our eyes on that. And then there was that musical battle between Carmilla and Velvet. Oh my god, by far my favorite song of this entire episode. So good! And uh, there's the V's. Everyone hates them. <laughs> no, one, no one likes them at all. So, uh, yeah, I, I thought for a minute they might be involved, but it seemed like too simple an answer. But it turns out it wasn't them. It was Carmela who did it. So, yeah, there's that. And then there's Vaggy. Vaggy, I don't know, y'all. I think she might have a thing for Charlie. Um, she seemed very upset by the fact that she didn't think she was being very effective in the trust exercises to help Charlie with the whole hotel vibe. So she was down on herself and she walks away and she sings this song and it honestly felt romantic. Well, of course, the other side of it was was um, Carmela singing and she was singing about protecting her family. Meanwhile, Baggy is talking about doing what she can to protect Charlie and, and, and doing things for Charlie. So I'm wondering, you know, I guess that you would also consider Charlie to be your own family, right? But I'm wondering if it was just more than that as well. Is there a romantic side of this? Is 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 Vaggie in love with Charlie or falling in love with Charlie? I don't know. I just I feel like it was leaning in that direction. I could be wrong, but that's the feeling that I got. It felt romantic to me. And I would love that. They'd be so cute. But I'm not entirely sure if that was what was happening there. For or it could have just been they were besties and she wanted to do the best for her best friend and she felt that she was feeling her best friend. She's at that, she had that very sad line. What was it exactly? It was like, what's the point of me if I can't help you or something like that? It was so heartbreaking. So she wants to do what she can to help her best friend. And in the end she did, because look at what happened. They were all getting along perfectly in the hotel. They were laughing, smiling, joking together. They're, they, they've gained some trust, except for the, um, what's her name? The spider little girl. She's creepy as hell still. But you know, progress is made, so. Great positive in the end there for everyone at the hotel. 
and now we know who killed the angel. So we wait for heaven and the other angels to come down and do their thing. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Of course, if you want access to the full reactions, you'll find that over on my Patreon. But until next time, I'll see you again very soon. Adios.